Federal investigators saw a huge increase in the number of romance scams reported over the past year. One of the more high-profile and costly crimes happened right here in St. Louis. The I-Team's PJ Randawa has more on how one local woman lost more than a million dollars to this increasingly sophisticated scam. The search for love can cost you a lot more than just time and heartache. Federal prosecutors say a St. Louis woman in her 60s was swindled out of $1.2 million after falling in love online. She went on one of the dating websites, thought she had met someone that she could build a future with. While the identity of that St. Louis woman has not been made public, Assistant U.S. Attorney Tracy Berry explains how the scammers adapted their con to fool her. They used a LinkedIn profile. They use local universities. They use local things. Two men from Texas are now facing federal charges of mail and wire fraud and identity theft related to that case. And while prosecuting romance scammers doesn't happen often, more than 32,000 cases of these scams were reported to the Federal Trade Commission last year. So many, it's caught the attention of Congress. I was constantly sending him gift cards, even though now I was using up the last of my husband's life insurance. My savings were gone. At a recent congressional hearing, this Pennsylvania victim explained how the romance scammer gained her trust. But Tony had the kids get in touch with me through email and they started calling me mom, which is my Achilles heel because I didn't have children of my own. From then, there was always some kind of an emergency or some urgent need for money. They do it in bits and pieces. They don't ask for 1.2 million all at one time. They may start with 5,000, 10,000. Romance scamming netted nearly $300 million last year. The victim's hardest hit were between the ages of 60 and 79. Barry recommends checking in with any family members involved in an online romance. Stop being condescending. Stop saying things that could be interpreted as you think I'm stupid. There's just a way to do it that makes all the difference in the world. We have more information about how you can spot romance scams on our website, ksdk.com. Log on and we'll tell you the quickest way you can find out if the person romancing you online is legit. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, five on your side.